Dumping patients who are sick and or mentally ill on the streets of Skid Row is an unconscionable act. It's illegal, it's immoral, and it has to stop. Yeah, today was an exciting day. Uh, we had a big press conference that changes the way uh, mental patients are referred out of uh, hospitals in our area. An announcement of a new protocol for discharge and a huge settlement that the hospital will pay to make sure that mental patients are cared for in the proper way. The settlement will establish a court-ordered process for developing protocols for the discharge of homeless patients with mental disorders. As part of the settlement agreement, College Hospital has agreed to pay $1.6 million in penalties and charitable contributions. I think many of us have wondered why there are so many people living on Skid Row who have mental disorders. Well, our investigation indicates that in the two years prior to Mr. Davis being dumped on Skid Row, College Hospital, just College Hospital, may have dumped as many as 150 psychiatric patients on Skid Row. In some cases, rendering those people homeless. They had a home, they were rendered homeless by this activity. Andy Bales from the Union Rescue Mission has been an, an incredible source of inspiration that have given myself, the people in my office, and others the courage to proceed with these investigations and bring them to fruition. Um, he does it in his own style, his own way, uh, mild-mannered but with a lot of passion. I'd like to ask Andy Bales just to get, make a few comments. Andy? It's another step towards uh, the day when we won't have any precious human being living on the street and it's a tremendous step toward the day where we'll live up to being uh, our name, the City of Angels. We're not there yet, but with every effort that the city attorney has made, with every effort that the agencies around Skid Row make uh, to stem the tide of dropping valuable, precious human beings on these streets, we get closer to living up to our name, the City of Angels. Thank you. Thank you very much.